Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm trading the ES futures on a 2000 tick chart with a 21 EMA. So I've got the overnight highs up here, overnight lows down here. These are our key levels, although they never really came into play today. Um, so we push up here. I started trading around this area right here that's around 8 central time. And so we push up, break. We have this attempt at a new high. We push up to a new high, and that's also starting to form this larger channel here. Notice we have these lows. Fits well with those highs right there. And so um, starting off here, we had this push lower, and I was wanting to see a second leg like this down to the key entry point to get an entry, but that just never happened. It kind of just went a little bit sideways there. So we have this push down. We you know have this correction back higher, and then we have this small, you know, we just one red bar. That's not another, that's not like another leg down. That's really just very insignificant compared to this right here. Now, I was wanting a second leg like that, but we just never got it. And so th there might be a scalp entry here. I don't scalp. I want to go for at least one to one, and there's just no good entry for that here. It's just too insignificant of a second push down. So we push up here. We clearly react off that overnight high level. I, I drew it before 830, which means it is still able to change before 8.30, but this is around 8.30 right here, and it was clearly reacting off that level, so it fit best there. We push higher here, and now when we're pushing higher here, clearly we're in this uptrend. The highs are fitting well. We have this larger measured move in play, and so what you want to see is two clear legs back to the EMA to get a long, but you don't get that. You just start going sideways, and you don't even reach the EMA. So there's nothing to take there, but we do push up. We reach that measured move, and as soon as we reach that measured move, we clearly start reacting off of it. We have this first entry long, a second entry long. It pushes below the EMA. And since you just met this major measured move, because you just met that major measured move, you want to be careful of going long directly into it, especially after it rushes below the EMA. Because the measured moves, they often just reverse right after price meets them. So when you rush below the EMA like that, you don't want to immediately go long. You want to see price push back higher and hold, and then you also want to get out before entering into this level right here. So, you know, that's, I, I'm okay with looking for a long here, but you want to see price actually hold it. It barely closed back above right there, so that's just not good enough. Um, it rushed below the EMA right after reaching that, so you want to see price hold above the EMA. And then you slightly push higher, and then you get this higher low, basically a double bottom, and it closed back below the EMA. That is not a good sign to go long right after reaching a measured move like that. Um, and then I do think after you get this bar here, this next bar is, is closing too much in the middle. Um, you know, considering the bigger picture context, you don't want to go longer than that. But this bar is okay, except you would want, you would need to get in with a limit order quite a bit down, which you would not get filled in here. So it's okay to look for something in here after this bar triggers. So after this bar ticks higher than that bar, it's okay to put in a limit order to where you can actually get out before uh, you know this right here, but you, you don't get filled on that. So anyway, we push higher here, we correct again. And once again, you don't want to enter right into that. Notice how as soon as we retested that level there, we corrected. So anyway, we push higher here and we start going sideways here. At first, I don't have that, I just have this right here. And then I do like this right here. It was after um, you know it rushed back above. It was a no fill entry though, so no fill on this. Uh, waited for it to tick higher, and you know, I just never got filled on that pullback there, unfortunately, because uh, it pulled back before it. Um, it pulled back, it triggered first, but then it pulled back, and then as it was going higher, I put in my l limit order, and it never pulled back a second time. I barely missed it there, um, unfortunately. So, anyway, this right here, uptrend break, you see first attempt higher, second attempt higher. It's not a major trade, not a major picture trade. Um, it's just, uh, but compare this right here, these two legs back to this right here. You have this push lower break, and then that's very insignificant. This second push lower here is still small compared to this, but you can still clearly tell that you have two legs down there. Um, now, one thing I liked about this was it was nearly retesting this major measured loop move level. It wasn't quite off of it. It was a couple points above it, but it was clearly trying to, and then it just shot back above the EMA and range right here, fading it. But you would need a limit order. You would need to get out before this. You don't want to enter into, you know, congestion highs, um, also into new highs. So anyway, we push higher here. We have this first entry long. <coughs> first entry long goes a little bit sideways for a bit, and then we have a second leg down. So first leg down, second leg down, 
retesting this range high right here. This right here has an overshoot, so that's why I didn't care about that STT right there. Um, the EMA has been up the whole day. We were strongly trending up all day, and so I didn't mind entering into the EMA, even though it shot below. You know, you know, it finally shot below here. It was still up, retesting this level right here, two legs down. So I did like that, but you would just need you would just need to get out at, at these highs here before these highs. So you got to be careful. You don't want to go for crazy targets and stuff like that. Notice it dropped pretty fast after breaking back out of this uh, small range right here. So you push lower here, and then you kind of get these bigger picture legs down because the price action levels get bigger as more time goes on. So this two legs down here went from you know one leg, two leg, to one leg, right? Second leg down here. Um, and it was really getting choppy in this area here. We started getting this range. Um, EMA was basically right in the middle of that. started lower here, but then it kind of stayed in the middle and so we started going into the smaller range we pushed higher we pushed back lower we pushed back higher you draw those lows get that high it's clearly reacting around that level we get this oh whoops where'd my mouse go we have this right here third bounce one two three we're starting to go into this downtrend um which i didn't like this right here because it was such a it was a, just a odd looking downtrend we only had one because at first it was more like this i should say and then we overshot and then it almost led to a break it basically broke a tiny bit but not really um because it basically held right there but um so it, it basically recovered from this overshoot is what i'm trying to say and so i lowered that to there and we pushed lower and then i like this lower high right here i got in one tick early so i didn't have to deal with this uh you know i was fortunate enough to not have to deal with this pullback right here i noticed some people in the discord they entered uh or on the site they entered like that and then they had to deal with this pullback, which sucks. Um, so anyway, I got filled right there. It did pull back and ended up filling anyone who got in on a stop order there. Uh, but clearly it was reacting to this low right here. So I just wanted to get out before this low right here, but it did end up pushing to the uh, measured move right here. So it's a lower high, confirming this trend line again, fourth bounce and below the EMA. And once again, that was, this was right after uh, this uptrend had a break and a new high, which means that we can expect a reversal down anyway. But once again, you got to be careful. We were still really sideways at this point, so you don't want to really push your luck there. Um, just stay within a good one-to-one. -one. So we push lower here. We get congested. We confirm that trend line again. There's really nothing else to take in this area. You don't want to enter below that. There's just no room. And then it gets really choppy here. And then you're in this big downtrend, so you don't want to go long all the way down here. You're in this downtrend, possibly reversing from this you know, major uptrend playing out. So you don't want to go long right after a huge drop like that. Uh, but we do push higher here. So the next thing I would look for, which I'm done for the day, but next thing I would look for is uh, downtrend, break, first attempt lower, second attempt lower, off the trend line or off the uh, lower range line right there. That would be an excellent long. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helped in some way and I'll see y'all next time.